used to waste hours manually tracking my YouTube videos until I automated everything. Now every video gets tracked, transcribed, AI analyzed, and organized into Obsidian automatically, all in one click. And the best part, I can run this workflow on any YouTube channel. Let me show you how it works. Here's my YouTube channel covering everything from Obsidian to automations. There's no easy way to retrieve this information. I'd have to click through video after video, scrubbing through timelines, hoping to stumble across what I'm looking for. In the past, I would have used tools like Obsidian Web Clipper to manually copy summaries with paid AI tools, taking notes or trying to organize everything by hand. But this is hours of work for each video. But now watch this. Every single video automatically becomes this automated note in Obsidian, which is a searchable organized note with a full transcript, AI analysis, video stats, and key insights. So there's no manual work required. Let's run through the template and analyze what the automation is creating. Inside Obsidian, you can see my last video, and then to Obsidian in three steps. Up the top here, I've got some YAML properties that tell me all the information about this video. If we scroll down, we can see that we've got some video stats, which include the views, likes, comments, publish date, the duration, and the channel name. Inside a hidden callout, I've got the description of the video. Then I've got some quick links, which will take me to the video, the channel page, or the share link. If I need to copy my chapter information, I've got it in a code block here. Then there's a block for a transcript that's generated by my self-hosted Whisper AI Docker container, which is hosted on my Proxmox home lab. So it's not going to cost me any money anymore to use AI tools. So I can click to reveal the transcript there and go read through it if I need to. And if I wanted to find some particular information, I could search for it in here. Then I've got a AI analysis for a brief summary, the best ideas, tools, and resources. And this is generated by Gemini. It'll showcase the key learning points of the video and give me the key message. And finally, I've got some archive details with a reminder that this was generated automatically by NADN. So we can see that these are being archived in my YouTube, my videos archive folder. And then I can just go through and see all the automated notes in there. So far I've only done 10, but I've got another 46 videos to automate. This was just my sample data that I wanted to use for this video. All right, let's break it down into three phases. Phase one is all about setup and decision logic. This is where the workflow gets smart about what it needs to do. First, the manual trigger starts the workflow. Next, we get YouTube videos, which fetches videos from my channel using the YouTube API. Then we read videos from our Google Sheet to get our existing tracking data. This acts as our database to keep track of which videos we've already processed. The merge and process node is where the magic happens. This compares the YouTube video against our spreadsheet data. Finally, we have our smart decision logic. If a video is not in the sheet, it gets added to the sheet with a to-do status. If the video already exists, but the status is to-do or failed, then we process it. And if the video status is already done, we skip it entirely. This prevents us from reprocessing videos we've already transcribed while ensuring any failed attempts get retried again. It's a bulletproof system that handles incremental processing beautifully. So let's look at phase two. This is where the heavy lifting happens and YouTube videos get transformed into an Obsidian note. First, split in batches processes videos one by one to prevent system overload. Then get video details fetches the complete YouTube metadata. Next, prepare video data, formats all that information for processing. Then I use my Python app to download the YouTube audio file. Then Whisper AI converts that audio into text. 
text. But we don't stop at transcription. We then use Google Gemini to generate AI analysis, which takes the raw transcript and sends it to Gemini for intelligent insights, pulling out key ideas, tools, ideas, and learning points. Finally, merge video and AI combines all these data sources together. What comes out is a complete package, video stats, the full transcript, AI generated analysis, quick links and archive details. By the end of phase two, a simple YouTube URL has been transformed into a comprehensive searchable knowledge base entry ready for my Obsidian Vault. Finally, we reach phase three, the completion and loop. This is where everything gets delivered and the workflow decides what to do next. Each YouTube video saves to my Obsidian Vault as a beautifully formatted note using the local REST API. Then update sheet marks that video as done in my Google Sheet tracking system, updating the status and adding the archive date. Here's where the intelligence continues. Check batch status determines whether there are more videos that need processing. The loop logic either sends the workflow back to process the next to-do video, or if everything is complete, ends the workflow gracefully. This creates a self-managing system that processes videos one by one, which keeps a perfect record of what's been done and automatically handles the queue until every video is archived. I simply click it once to start and it systematically works through my entire backlog. The whole process can take between five to 10 minutes per video, depending on the length. So let's run through a quick demo. The first thing I wanna do is jump into my Google Sheet and have a look at the status of my notes. So I've currently got 12 videos here that have been added to my Obsidian Vault. You can see the name of the file name here and when they were archived. I've also got a column for the published date, a URL, and just a little note at the end to say that it's been successfully processed and saved. So I'll go back to my NADN workflow. And what I need to do is I need to start my Python YouTube transcriber. So I've made that inside of VS Code. So all I need to do is hit the up arrow and run the Python script. That's gonna go run the audio transcriber on my Obsidian device. And we can see that it's currently listening on port 5000. Now I need to go into my get YouTube videos. I'm going to bump the limit up to 14. So now I'm ready to execute the workflow. So I'm going to hit execute workflow. It's going to go search for those 14 videos, read my Google sheet and add the two new videos to my sheet. So if we have a look here, we can see that it's grabbed the next two videos in line, which is automate note generation in Obsidian with AI Claude and how to backup and restore your Obsidian files. So we can see it's set the status as to do and it doesn't have a file name yet. It's brought in the URL and it's got a little note here that says it needs to be added to Obsidian. So if I jump into my Python script here, we can see that it's transcribed one of the audio files already. So I can hold control and click, and that's going to go pull up a 29 second audio file. And this is going to be from this ID here ending in four. So if I come back over to my spreadsheet, I can see that's the video ID there. So it's just downloaded the audio track for this video. And what it's doing now is it's sending it over to my Docker container which is currently hosting Whisper AI. And that's converting that transcribed audio into text. So it'll sit here on the transcribe for Whisper for a couple of minutes. So what I usually tend to do here is I'll go make a cup of coffee or I'll just continue on working with something else while this process is happening. So after about three minutes, Whisper AI has converted my audio into text and now it's gone over to Google Gemini for analysis. 
It then gets formatted to an Obsidian note and gets sent over to Obsidian. Then it checks to see if there's another video and if there is, it runs through the process again. And that process happens really quickly. You can see that I just actually missed that whole looping process. So let's go have a look at the archive here. So we can see that this entry here, Automate Note Generation in Obsidian with AI Claude is now set to done. And we've actually got a note inside of our Obsidian Vault and it's updated to say successfully processed. If I jump into Obsidian, I can see that I've got that note that's just been created here, Automate Note Generation. So I can open up that note. We can have a look at the YAML properties and see that it's been added today. And then I can scroll down and see my video stats and see the description, quick links, chapter, my transcript, which was generated by my Python app and passed over to my Whisper AI. Then I've got the Gemini AI analysis with the brief summary, the best ideas, tools and resources, key learning points, the key message and the archive details. So if I jump back over to N8N and see that this one is still processing, I can have a look in my Python app and see that the WAV file has completed. So I can open up this one. This one's a little bit shorter. It's 18 minutes and 26 seconds, and you can play and listen to that if you want. So this one shouldn't take as long to transcribe with Whisper before heading over to Google Gemini, and that will complete this last to-do here and create a note. So we'll just hang here because we know this one is the last in line, and we'll watch the spreadsheet update once it's completed. Okay, so we can see that that one is done now. We have a new note, how to backup and restore your Obsidian files. So we can jump back into Obsidian and I can see that that video has successfully been pulled in. I can see all my YAML properties. And then I've got my video stats, my description, quick links, chapters, my transcript, my AI analysis, my archive details, and then I can go through and check my base YouTube videos. So that's my core workflow working perfectly, but I've already got some ideas brewing for my next steps. So the first idea is I want to improve the transcript quality even further. I've been experimenting with Get Recall for a while now, which gives me much cleaner transcripts than Whisper alone. I can also click and navigate through timestamps easier. So I want to include something where I can paste those improved transcripts directly into the workflow. So it'll be the same automation, same Obsidian formatting, just with higher quality transcripts that Get Recall provides. So another idea I thought was instead of having my Get YouTube Videos node linked to my YouTube account, what I could do is add a third party YouTube channel by adding the channel ID here. Then I simply just update the limit and that would allow me to send a custom channel through to the Get YouTube Videos. And then that would take the limit and the channel ID and would just swap out this node here and it would just follow through the same process. The second idea got me really excited. It's adding retrieval augmented generation. So then I can have a conversation with all the transcripts, all the AI summaries sitting inside my Obsidian Vault. It would be nice to say what tools did I recommend in this video in January this year and get an intelligent answer pulled from my entire vault. So it would basically turn my video library into a searchable conversational knowledge base. And I could probably do this already with Claude code. And that would mean I wouldn't have to set up any rag inside of N8N. And finally, the third idea is making this entire workflow available as a JSON export. I mean, I just built something pretty comprehensive here, batch processing, error handling, AI integration, Google Sheet tracking. So I'm not sure yet, maybe it's too valuable to just give it away. But if there's enough interest, I might package this up. So let me know in the comments what you think. Which of these ideas sound most interesting to you? Or do you have other ideas where this could go? drop a comment and let me know. And if you found this useful, hit the like button and subscribe as I've got more automation ideas coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.